Hey everybody, it's Marcel. I've been gone for a minute or two. Hope you don't mind the background gameplay. It's Ark Survival Reloaded on Genesis Part 1. Long story short, I got into a new line of work. A temporary thing that paid pretty well and took up a lot of my time. YouTube went through a lot of transitions. That's not to mention all the other crap that's been going on with society right now. I'll spare you all the gritty details, but on a happy note, I bought a house, so that's cool. In any case, I'm back, at least for now. I've learned not to make promises. So the topic of the day is going to be women dating men for practice. That is, women that don't actually intend to be in any kind of serious relationship with the guy, or even really do anything with him or for him, but just date him for the experience kind of sharpen their claws a little bit, see what works, what doesn't, hone their skills, and then ultimately dump the guy. It's not something that I've heard talked about a lot, though I've seen it directly, it's been done to me several times. To cover the male equivalent of it, think starter girls. You know, younger guy, just out of college or something, or just out of school even, Gets with an older girl, maybe she's got some kids, maybe she's got some baggage, maybe she's just got problems. And he doesn't necessarily plan to be with her, but he's going to give her a shot because he wants to date somebody and she's willing. I'm not going to say that there's anything wrong with it. I've done it. I'm not going to say I'm proud of it either. thing for me, in my perspective, I was honestly giving these girls a chance. I genuinely wanted to date them. Even if I didn't necessarily have high hopes for the relationship, I gave it a full opportunity to succeed. These girls that are practice dating on guys don't ever intend to give them a chance. I mean, accidents can happen, but they don't really want the relationship to go anywhere. It's not serious at all. So you're asking, why does this matter? Who cares? I ran into situations a lot where I would start dating a girl and things would be going well. Heck, really well. Maybe even better than I expected. I'm kind of doing everything right. I'm saying the right thing, the right time, making the right moves. It's going smooth. We start to feel a little closer and then there's a tipping point where Either, you know, a really great night happens or I get the vibes she might be crushing on me a little bit and then all of a sudden she slams the brakes and bails on it. Meaning the romance, the dating situation entirely not if stuff were just about to hit the bedroom. Because I could kind of get why someone would want to bail out at that particular moment. And I'm sitting here thinking that I did something wrong. Like, how did I screw this up? And that happened often enough that I, it really messed with me. You know, you'd be hitting it off with this girl thinking everything is perfect and going the right direction. Like, finally, you're not screwing things up. And then you crash and burn with no explanation. This causes the guy to completely reevaluate everything that he was doing, the entire dating experience, because he thinks that something went wrong when in reality things went right. So the woman didn't intend to be with him, at least not beyond a certain point. So we've covered that. When she started catching feels, she bailed because she started catching feelings. It was too real. And that's why she backed off. I want to differentiate this from someone moving too quickly as well, because it really didn't matter how fast the relationship would have progressed to the point in which they wanted it end the relationship, it, they would have ended it regardless. It could have been a day, it could have been a year to take to get to that point, but once it hits that, that flag for them, that moment, they kill it. Meanwhile, she is more than happy to allow him to get as many feelings as he wants for her and just let it slide because in the end, the more realistic of an experience it is for her, the better she'll be able to hone her skills on the guy. And now this poor guy is gonna think that he screwed something up and will actually use a different and possibly worse approach with the next woman and will never get proper feedback to understand what happened. I can't see a situation where a woman's going to go up to a guy and say, oh yeah, it wasn't you, you did everything right, and because I didn't actually intend to stay with you or have any feelings for you at all, uh, when I started to, I decided it was a bad idea because you like you're really not right for me in the first place. So how do I feel this applies to the average guy? 
Well, if you're MGTOW, of course, it isn't really going to be a problem either way, but let's say that someone's purple pill, they're still in the dating scene, maybe reflecting on past relationships. There are times when a person wasn't doing anything wrong at all. In a sense, they were just getting used. The unusual part is they were getting used to specifically show an emotional bond to that woman. Like, it was intentionally driven that direction with an intention a necessity to end the relationship if it ever got too close. So for those who have had this happen to them, or even possibly, we should recognize that our actions may not have even been wrong. We may have done really well, in fact, better than the girl ever expected. And in situations where it's overly confusing as to what went wrong, it's possible that nothing went wrong. And that was the intent of the other party the entire time. One of the most destructive potential outcomes is that the guy's confidence and self-esteem is racked by this experience for no other reason than the woman using him. If a person were to want to stop it from happening that way, say if they were currently in a relationship, best suggestion I could give is to try and balance the energy and romantic pace of the partner as much as possible. Yes, I know historically men are expected to be the driving force in relationships. There have been many times where I didn't make a move and because of that I literally lost a girlfriend. I just believe there are times when a relationship will sort of find a balancing point and it will feel tempting to progress it forward when in reality if you let it ride long enough, no pun intended, at that happy balance you could ultimately prolong the experience to the point where they might actually open up to the ideas of letting it grow to be more. There comes a point where these ladies that are practicing their skills, sharpening their claws on a guy, might kind of get used to him being around and start to miss him when he's not there. Ultimately though, guys gotta recognize it doesn't matter how good a dancer he is, eventually the song's gonna end. And then when it does, she might be walking away or dancing with somebody else. I can only say with confidence a handful of women who have done that to me in the past. They either admitted it to me years later or their friends busted them because everybody's stabbing everybody in the back in the end. Man, people get vindictive too, like I actually saw receipts of some of this crap. Now if this has happened to somebody listening and they're trying to preserve the experience somehow, eh, there's not much you can do. Act pleasantly indifferent. It's possible that by acting like it's not a big deal, the woman might rethink that it was moving faster than she wanted it to or further than she wanted it to, and might even allow it to continue and give more time to get to know the guy better. Of course, that feels like walking on eggshells, which kind of sucks. Or just don't date at all and completely avoid the drama. Anyway, I know as far as my content goes, that was pretty rusty. Obviously, I've been gone for a while. Half of what I'm doing here is trying to just learn the new YouTube format and things that have changed in this new studio. Oh, God. I'm sure there was a lot of points and thoughts that I didn't cover. Uh, put them down below. Help people out. Let us know what... Uh, what experiences have you had? Do you guys like video games in the background or would you rather me do clip art and stock photos? You might be seeing art for a few videos. I hope that's cool. Two things I do want to address really quick. Uh, one, my other channel that I made, I used to call it uh, Sergeant Marcel or something like that. I've renamed it to Marcel Resurgence and I'm going to change the theme of that channel a little bit. I want to keep it more open on topics, try new fields, Get into new things that aren't specifically romance and red pill driven ideas. Branch out into other stuff and see what people are interested in. Marcel Enlightened was never specifically just going to be a MGTOW channel, but it got pushed that direction because it, that's what people wanted to hear from me. That's what they wanted to talk about. So for Marcel Resurgence, I want to open it up to all of the other videos or topics that I want to cover that maybe don't fit directly in this channel. I'm still gonna cover the things originally promised with like the channel intro, you know, covering things like guns, uh, survival, other cool stuff. 
but I want to branch it out even further than that. One of the first videos, it's already posted. I'm going to put it right here, a link to it. It's called How to Change Society. If you were interested in the Mouse Utopia experiment, or if you like to reference it a lot, you may want to watch that video. I cover some interesting behavioral traits on how people react to things on a social scale, on like a grand scale. As far as future content goes on this channel, I'm going to cover differences in perspective of dating itself and why those individual interpretations of the experience can actually cause it to fail or just via the own misunderstandings will lead it to failure. And ultimately discuss whether or not a relationship ending really constitutes as a failure in the first place. And I'm not talking about situations where the other person was toxic and that's why it's better to have ended. It should be interesting. I'd I'll let you know when it's up. Anyway, as for the preceding topic, women practice dating on guys. Is it bad? Does it matter? Is it a problem? Is it emotional abuse? Tell me what you think down below. Tell me if you think I'm full of shit. I want to hear it. For the ladies out there listening, you ever done that to a guy? I don't think most people would admit to it, but I'm just curious. Anyway, that's about all I have on that topic. It's been way too long, and I miss you guys. This is like the only place I can really sort out my problems. Anyway, until next time, this has been Marcel.